this is for a par at that hole that Jamie was describing there. Nicely done. Winner towards the end of last year. Yannick Paul putting for an eagle. He already, he's already eagled the second today, the first of the par fives. Can he do it again? Oh, yes, he can. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff from Yannick Paul. He's six under for his round after seven holes. Did, didn't he eagle three holes when he won that tournament at the end of the year last year? Yeah, I that's think he eagled a bell three now. holes yeah. Yeah. on that final round. Like Pin back right. Most players will be between a seven and a six iron. Properly came out of that because we're looking 20 yards short. Right. We passed so far for Molinari. Not for this man. A couple of eagles and birdies. Six under here, so after seven. But trouble here getting up and down. Nearly, nearly. Well, he's what, 25 yards wide of that green from 170. So it's a big wide. But a chance to make his part. Talking about hanging on the edge. There's the ninth green. Somewhere back there is Germany's Yannick Paul, who's already made a couple of birdies and a couple of eagles, but he's just dropped a shot at the eighth. I can't wait for him to eagle another hole and see someone come out with that stat. I've been one of the only players to have multiple rounds with three eagles. I wonder who that was. <laughs> Tough to get close to this pin on nine. Oh, -ho. but not if you do that. Terrific shot from Yannick Paul. Well, he's had two eagles and two birdies already, just bogeyed eight. So some round of golf he's putting together. This to go out in 30. Great Just start. hangs on. Brilliant start for Yannick Paul. And he climbs back into a share of the lead with Robin C.O. Sigrist. Great front line. Yannick Paul makes the turn. Have you played with Yannick Paul? Picker? Yes, I played with, uh, with Yannick in Russell Keimer. And he's a pretty solid all around player. I mean, it's. it's it's not flash, but dang, 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 moves around the golf course, plays chess, and when he plays well, it, that is what happens. Loses his height a little bit on his downswing, Paul, makes no difference. He's dialed in today. Let's go back for another one. Yannick Paul to start the back nine with a birdie. Six under par, tied for the lead with C.O. Segrest. Looks like it's just a bit of left to right here for Paul. Right in the middle. Seven under par after ten holes. He's only made three pars. Brilliant stuff. Now then, this is the man of the day so far. He is at seven under par. Paul second at this par five, eleventh. Just seen Bjork have an eagle here. He's going with a, an iron. Oh, what a shot that is. That to get to nine under par. Well, every chance that it will be a third eagle today for Yannick Paul. To get to nine under at the par five, eleventh for an eagle. Never up, never in, Dom. No, not really running at the hole, was it? However, it is going to be a very simple birdie, and he's going to get it to eight under. And Yannick Paul moves two shots clear at the top. That's a good card. Look at that with the drop shot in there as well at the eighth. Right, looking back towards the uh, 14th tee. Tough hole this one, Ewan. Yeah, it's not an easy tee shot, Dom. Dog leg left, but the wind is down off the player's left. Those fairway bunkers there that start at 310 on the right, they're in range. You can hit it about 320, 325 and straight. You can catch a speed slot in the fairway. Hand off club. Sometimes made bad, but not always. Yeah, it's fine. Only 
think it's made its way into the uh, the real thick stuff, but it looked like it was on a little bit of a down slope. Yeah, it's a little bit of an awkward one here, Dom. 151 to the front, 174 back to the flag. It plays three yards downhill, and it's quite a narrow entrance to this green. Looking to land this in the front half of the green and try and release it up. If it doesn't release, that's fine. Underneath the hole here is okay. Top bend to get to this 14th today. Oh, well, depends on the line. Looks like it's just below his feet there for Yannick Paul. Smiling away. Yeah, perfect lie. These bunkers and the green surrounds are immaculate. This is not a difficult shot back into the breeze. Super shot. Very good for Yannick Paul. All going according to plan. Yannick Paul to tidy up for the sandy save. Oh, mistake. Yannick Paul, second hardest hole on the golf course, but he should have made his par there after that really good bunker shot. One step back. Joint leader now with Valamaki. Par five to come. To the 16th tee, and Yannick Paul. On a good par four, 478 yards this one. path there. Catch the path or the edge of it, do you think, there? A the ridge, wasn't it? The edge of it. Are you asking? <laughs> Go on. What do you think I it think did? I think it was the edge. Good man. 138 for Paul. Got to be careful here. It's a bit of a jumper lie. Connor Syme has hit it 40 feet past the hole in front of him. Any further than that, the water lurks. Yeah, I think he was aware of that. Very easy swing from Yannick Paul, not threatening the hole. You can see where he was playing there, it looks like an infinity green there. It's a slow one, this one, Dom. Not easy to make yourself hit it hard enough back into the grain and uphill. Yes, you can see the different coloration of green there and uh, spot on you, and that was that's about five, six feet short from there. Just looking a little bit edgy all of a sudden at the end of his round. It going along so well. Uh, Miss par par 14 just stopped him in his tracks. Good par par for Yannick Paul there. That was important. Let's go back to the 17th tee. This time Yannick Paul. Similar result to his countrymen there. Not bad. Straight into by the looks of it. That's, that's not an easy shot, 159 into that. Well, left to right to start with and then goes right to left at the end. It's a difficult one to judge. Up the slope and then down towards the hole. Not far though for Paul. There's the view off the 18th tee. Here is Yannick Paul. Oh, that looks good. That looks like a bullet down there. Quite an intimidating tee shot, 18. Well, we saw the drive of Yannick Paul down the 18th. It uh, looked to be pretty much arrow straight. He's in good position here, Ewan. He certainly is, Dom, and what an intimidating final hole this is back into the breeze. Picture-perfect tee shot from Paul. 196 to the flag, tucked on the front left. That water is lurking perilously close there. Got to be looking a little right of this flag. Top pin to get to here on 18. Paul, but I think he's eyeing up and down. Great shot, really good shot. Great chance for a three. He's just stuttered a bit the last... Four or five holes, Yannick Paul. Up to Yannick Paul at the 18th, Ewan. Yeah, I watched two players hit this exact same putt this morning and they both made it just a little bit outside right. Not a difficult one. A 
which is stalled a bit over the closing six or seven holes, didn't he, having got off to that far start. He was eight under through 11. He's played the last seven holes in one over par without making a birdie. Still, a good start to the week, uh, an opening 65 for Germany's Yannick Paul. Yes, Yannick, terrific round, seven under par, 65. You were eight under through 11 holes. Now, I know the par five holes are the scoring holes. You eagled two, eagled seven, almost eagled 11. I didn't think they were that easy. Yeah, um, I chipped in on on two. That was obviously really helpful. Um, and on seven, hold like a, a pretty long putt from the fringe. Um, yeah, that's, those are obviously the bonus ones, but yeah, you take them when you get them. Um, and then I actually had a good look, actually the, probably the best eagle look on 11, uh, but that, yeah, just slid by, but yeah, overall a, a solid day. Well, typically very hot and humid here in Thailand. It must have been quite a relief to have such pleasant conditions out there this afternoon. Yeah, it was pretty windy, so that helped to uh, cool us down a bit. Um, but yeah, uh, yesterday obviously rained a bit, but on Monday and Tuesday, I was like, ooh, it's even hotter than Singapore, yeah? So uh, I'm glad we were able to wear shorts this week. So um, yeah, I think we're all enjoying it out here and can't wait to start the more again. Second season on the DP World Tour. How much does having the win last year in Mallorca help free you up this season? Yeah, definitely. But yeah, at the beginning, um, first couple of events, expectations were obviously really high. Um, and yeah, there's a bit more noise now and stuff. So I'm just, I think I, it was really a valuable lesson for me to just kind of focus on myself um, and just kind of do my own my own thing. Um, so just, you know, that's kind of what I learned the last couple of weeks. So I'm just trying to focus on that and then hopefully yeah, get back into the winner's circle at some point. Well, I'm sure you will with rounds like that. Congratulations and good luck tomorrow morning. Thank you. Appreciate it. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.